Super glad you turned tuned in, turned in, turned in like you're going to sleep or something. I don't know. Maybe it's close to nap time. Are you getting naps? Probably not. Y'all are probably staying up super late at night and, um, you know, sleeping in. Not everybody can do that, you know. Must be nice. Like y'all are on early summer vacation or something. But anyways, super glad you tuned in today. <laughs> Man, can you believe today's Thursday and just in three days, three days, it's going to be Easter Sunday. Can you believe tomorrow is Good Friday? What? I'm so excited. I mean, what a great day to be able to celebrate what Jesus did for us on the cross. I mean, that's pretty That's pretty awesome, right? Well, cool. Well, listen, I've been hanging out in the book of the Bible of Isaiah and um, wanted to share another scripture with you guys. And um, let me get this Bible out. Wow. Now, I'm just letting you know, like my trick is that I always like, like mark my parts in my Bible where I'm supposed to go so I can open it really fast and easily. And um, that's why I always have these like things that stick up, you know? Okay. So I'm going to read to you out of Isaiah chapter 42, and I'm going to start at verse 10. All right. And this is what the word of God says. Don't be afraid. Look at me. Say that. Say, don't be afraid. All right. That's what I'm talking about, right? For I am with you. Don't be discouraged. Do you know what discouraged means? Discouraged means like um, whenever you're not encouraged, <laughs> you're like, what, P. Nikki? You know, um, don't don't get down about stuff. Don't be afraid of things. Don't be discouraged, right? For I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand hand. Don't be afraid and don't be discouraged because I am your God. That's what our father in heaven is telling us today to not be discouraged, to not be afraid, but that he is our God. Can you say thank you, Jesus, for loving us so much that um, you are there to help us not be afraid and not be discouraged, but rather be full of joy, to be full of hope, to be full of faith, right? So super excited. What a great weekend we are going to have to celebrate our amazing and loving Savior. And so I thought it might be kind of fun to do an Easter craft um, with some stuff that you might have hanging out around your house. So if you have a clothespin, and the only clothespins that I have are like these itty bitty, teeny tiny. Oh, look at what. Watch this. Ready? I don't know. I thought maybe that looked like an alligator or a shark. Thought it might look funnier, but <laughs> it's really not. Look, I can see you. Ooh. <laughs> Anyways, clothespins, right? And then all you need is like construction paper, or you can just have like regular paper, notebook paper, computer paper, because you can draw things out on it. Or if you have a printer at home, you can print things. And what we're going to do is we are going to create these cool little things. Like this one is an egg. And so you create something. And then when you open it up, bam, there's something inside of it. This one's a cross right? Um, I'm going to show you another one. So this one's not an egg. This one, it's a tomb because we're celebrating Easter on Sunday. So let me ask you a question. If I open it, who do you think is going to be in it? Bam! Jesus! <laughs> do y'all find this funny or, or, or just me? <laughs> Ready? Bam! Let's do them together. Ready? Ready? Bam! 
Oh no! That's all right, because Jesus busted out of that tomb. He was like, bam, on the third day, I rose from the dead. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you really quick. <laughs> I might be going a little crazy. I'm gonna show you really quick. I miss you guys, by the way. Did y'all know that? I miss y'all a lot how we can do this. So we made Jesus come out the tomb and we made a Easter egg that had a cross in it. Man, I hope you guys are doing like some cool stuff to share with people in your neighborhood, like drawing some Easter stuff or whatever. So I'm using um, two-sided tape because that's what I have at home. You got to find what you have at home. Maybe you have glue dots or you have glue or if you don't have that maybe you have some hot hot glue that your mom will do for you or something of that nature so i take my i think this is the top yeah i take my two-sided tape and i just put it on one side and then i just you know stick the top of the egg really really hard and then i'm gonna do the same thing with this other so i'm gonna put my two-sided tape down Double-sided, two-sided, double-sided. I don't know what it's called. I'm going to stick it here, right? So push it really, really hard. And then now we have an, an egg. Nice. And so we're going to flip it around. And in the side of this one, I thought it would be kind of fun to put a baby chick. So I got another, I got some more two-sided tape. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on my baby chick. I'm going to open this to see exactly where, oh, I put this on the wrong side. It needs to go in front. There we go. Okay, so we wanna put, we wanna make sure that the chick faces this way. So we're gonna open it up and see how far do we want them to go, like about right here, that's a good thing. So what I'm gonna do is I measure it, then I turn it around and you put the glue or your or your tape or whatever it is on the bottom one, but you wanna make sure that you don't have it backwards. So whenever you're doing, I'm sorry, I'm doing it down here like you can see it. So whenever you do it, you wanna make sure you're pushing it um, to where the back part is like facing you, right? So whenever you get it in and you open it up, it's like, dun dun, dun chirp, 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 happy Easter. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Happy Easter. <laughs> I hope you guys have fun making these. <laughs> right? So if you have that stuff, it's fun to do. You can do all different kinds of things. You can do it with like a dog house and like do a little dog or I don't know, a hot dog. Like you can make like the hot dog buns and then like when you open it up, have the hot dog wiener on the inside or what else could you do? You could do like a piggy bank and have like half the piggy bank on top and half the piggy bank on the bottom. And then when you open it up, there's like a, a um, I don't know, a coin or something like that. But I say keep it Easter since Easter is here and um, you guys have a whole lot of fun on this Thursday. I hope the weather doesn't have you down. I miss the sun. I can't wait to see it again. But anyways, I love you guys. I hope y'all are going to have an amazing Friday tomorrow. It's going to be so fun. I will catch you. We are going to have a really fun um, art project that's going to be kind of messy. So maybe if you like talk your mom into it, she might let you do it. I'll tell you, you're going to need an eggshell and some paint and something you can throw it at. Going to be a lot of fun. Love you guys. See y'all tomorrow. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray that you would touch every single young person. Um, Lord, that we will continue to know that you are our strength and that, God, we don't have to operate in a spirit of fear or a spirit of discouragement because you are our Father and you give us faith and hope and love, Lord. God, we thank you that we're able to celebrate Easter and everything that you did for us. In your mighty and most precious name we pray, everybody said, Amen. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Love you guys. See you later.